This week, the Del Mar Union School District and Cajon Valley Union School District went back to in-person classes, but most public schools are still doing distance learning throughout the county. As we see how families are returning safely back to school, our ABC 10 News reporter Melissa Messia continues her year-long project following how educators are handling virtual teaching. Kelly Martin and Don Harrison teach in the Chula Vista Elementary School District. Virtual classes started August 31st. It's tiring, <laughs> to say the least. In the grand scheme of things, it went better than I thought it would go. Kelly teaches sixth grade, while most of her kids are familiar with computers. It's been a challenge just with tech issues outside of our control of people's cameras not working or people's microphones not working. So I feel like Besides being a teacher, I've taken on the role of tech support. We first checked in with the teachers end of July. Since then, fear, anxiety, stress, a little bit of excitement. Good morning, first grade. Dawn sent us video of her teaching her first grade class. The first week went well. Week two has been a little tougher with student assessments and full days this week. I like to sing the months of the year. She's not the only one in her household dealing with a range of emotions. Her husband, Rick Meads, is an Eastlake High School teacher. They started virtual classes early August. He showed us his home setup. Write the story. I have 160 students or so, and, and I see most of them every day, but not, you know, there's like I said, there are some that are still struggling with access. Rick teaches drama, theater, and digital media, film, and television. He even used our last story to show his class how news is gathered during this pandemic. Like the students, he's adapting. Instead of doing a fall play this year, we're going to do a radio show. So okay. they're, gonna, they're writing their own script and it's going to be like a Halloween scary kind of thing. They agree it's easier in the classroom with a lot more prep work for virtual learning. I'm definitely working longer hours. The good part is I have no commute. As far as when they see themselves back in the classroom, that's hard to say. It's a nightmare to think about going back unless it's, you know, really safe. I really haven't spent too much time thinking about going back yet. I think I'm so consumed with just staying alive <laughs> right, right now. Staying um, in the now and trying to just survive day to day, right? Right. Melissa Masiha, ABC 10 News. One day at a time. Melissa will be following those teachers through this unusual school year. 10news.com has a section filled with resources to help families navigate these challenges. Just click on the safely back to school.